Alright, so today we're going to be showing you how to unbox and assemble your runners. Um, so you're going to get a box like this. If you got a box of twos, this is how it's going to come. Alright, so the easiest way to unbox this is to cut her open, peel all your flaps back to the side, make sure this one's forward, and just tilt it forward. Okay. And get it from the back and just roll it up and that's going to stand your chair straight up now if you're at home just go ahead and cut this tape and make the box flat because you're going to need it to put on your uh, table or if you got a truck you can put it on your tailgate um, to assemble your runners okay so flip up. all right so you're going to cut open your rockers I'm not going to do it. I'm going to show you on a different chair. But you're going to cut open your rockers and do it one by one. Um, your runners will be in the middle here with nails attached to them. So make sure that you're watching out for a pack of uh, a pack of nails with blue instructions on them. Okay. All right. So I'm going to grab my other chair and we'll show you how to put those on. All right, so this is the pack of nails that you're looking for. There should be at least like uh, eight or nine in there. Plenty to do your chair, and if you bend them, don't worry. There's there's extra in there, okay? Um, so make sure you got your cardboard down on your table and on the front edge so that your your posts are not hitting just bare wood or like the edge of your tailgate or anything like that because it's going to cause... Uh, the paint to chip off so make sure you got your box just like this okay so when you're assembling your runners you always start with the front hole okay so we're gonna go ahead on this side and knock down the front hole a couple taps and then we're gonna go to the back and see how that lines up so you're gonna want to use a rubber mallet if you don't have a rubber mallet you can use a regular hammer you just need a block of wood to put on the bottom of your runner here or else the metal hammer will dent the wood okay so again if you're using a metal hammer put something here either whether it's a, a a rag folded up a few times or a block of wood whatever just something to to soften the blow okay so we're gonna go ahead and put this front one on all right so it's on there the back one looks good so we're gonna go ahead and tap that one down a couple times don't mind that one <laughs> all right so this one's going on good it fits good on both sides so we're gonna go ahead and tap it down so you're gonna get the front you're gonna get the front touching okay and you're gonna come to the back and get that one touching don't be scared to hit it you saw how hard I was swinging at it okay so those are flush on both sides all right we're going to try this other side now so get the front hole in lined up we're going to tap down on the front a little bit okay now the back's off see how the hole is the or the tenon is in front of the hole so the the tenon needs to move back a little bit okay so what you're going to do here is you're just going to take this and twist it to the side Grab the front of your rocker with some pressure and tap back gently right here. Now, if you got a painted rocker, you're going to want to use a rag so that you're not chipping your wood again or putting these scuffs on it. This one's not painted, so I don't have to do this. All you have to do is just a couple taps back and see where it's, see where it's going. Okay, it needs to go back some more, so I'll tap it again. Now we're pretty good. Now it's right on the money. So we're gonna go ahead and tap down on the back. All right, now we're gonna come back to the front. And flush them up. All right, so the runners are on there. Okay. So from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chair and you're gonna flip it sideways. 
I'm not going to put the nails in these because I'll just have to take them right back out. So it makes no sense for me. But all you have to do is flip your chair up like this, making sure that it's on a, on a level surface. Okay. And then just come here and put your nail, line your nail up with where the tenon is and just go ahead and put it in. Do not put it close to the top. You want to put it at least, at least three quarters to five eighths of the way down. Okay, if you put it at the top, then it's gonna split the runner, all right? So another thing you can do is if you have a drill bit that's uh, the same size as the nail, you can do your little pilot hole to get it started and go ahead and tap your runner in like that too. Okay, but there are instructions that come with everything and you should be able to get it on just by yourself and that's it.